Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be checking Final Fantasy VII running on Xbox Series X. And I know what you're going to say, Mads, but Final Fantasy VII Remake is not on Xbox, it's only on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. And you are right, the remake is, but the actual original game is also available on Xbox, so obviously you can't play the remake but you can actually still play the original game which was kind of converted or like ported to the Xbox One and Xbox uh, Series X as well. So you can play this game on Xbox One, Xbox One S, X plays, um, Xbox uh, Series S and X of, of course, right? Now obviously this is the old game so the game graphics actually did improve a little bit, menus did improve because everything is a high resolution but as you can see the graphics is not really that great but this is actually pretty much the same good old uh, game uh, which hasn't really changed much right as you can see uh, the backgrounds are actually uh, very low quality um, they didn't, didn't even try to improve it a bit um, you know they are very low uh, low resolution um, the only kind of big kind of change in comparison to like PlayStation version obviously is, is that everything is higher resolution like the actual um, the characters in the game um, and stuff right so as you can see uh, they are still very low poly low polygon stuff right so they don't they don't really look that great but they should do look better than on uh, original PlayStation, right? Um, controls are pretty much the same, nothing has changed here. This game really feels pretty much the same as it used to uh, feel. Obviously this is a turn-based game so there's no, um, there's no action-oriented kind of act, you know, gameplay here. So you just have to plan your attacks and everything, you just wait, you can use magic, like I can use ice magic against this um, uh, this um, opponent and that kind of stuff. Obviously the tex texture filtering is here in effect, so it's not like pixelated as on PlayStation, of course, right? You can use all kind of potions and that kind of stuff, uh, there's a menu over here. So right now I've got two characters under my control. This is like the very beginning of the game. You've got items, uh, you can use all kinds of like potion, which you can heal your character. Uh, ether, ether is for magic, uh, magic, phoenix down, it is actually for reviving your um, character uh, during the battle. You can manage your magic uh, spells and that kind of stuff, equipment as well weapons you can actually you've got like these slots you can actually put the materia they call it uh, so that gives you additional like abilities and that kind of stuff right so um i mean <laughs> this game still has its charm um i mean i played it a little bit and i'm like man it feels like good old gay good old days uh, basically right um so that was kind of fun but uh yeah i mean when I first played this game on PlayStation, like the first places, the PlayStation 1, I was like, yeah, this game, you know, kind of looks cool. Um, I mean, to be honest with you, I was more of a Final Fantasy 8 guy than Final Fantasy 7. Um, I don't know why, I'm, 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 I'm weird like that, right? But, um, so yeah, um, let's just... Um, Maybe because I, maybe because Final Fantasy VIII actually, I, I actually got into Final Fantasy VII late. I remember when I first played that game on PlayStation. I got that game even I I, I bought PlayStation the first PlayStation console, but I bought PlayStation without the memory card, and um, I was like, yeah, I didn't back in back then when I I mean. I think I had Saturn first, but I don't remember if it that required any... Uh, I think Saturn had some memory built in. Did you... Did I can't remember, because I had Saturn for a while, 
And then I switched to PlayStation and I didn't know that I needed a memory card or I just didn't have that at the time, I don't remember. And I started playing Final Fantasy VII, but then every single time uh, I turned the console off, you know, I, I would have to start the, the game from scratch, so that was kind of uh, pointless. And I had that game, I think I borrowed it, there was like this, uh, th we had this kind of like um, a local shop, game game shop, where you, you could buy the game, but you could also rent them for like a couple of slotties, so I just, rent, I just rented that game for PlayStation, so I just wanted to play it as much as I could, but um, yeah, you know, the, rea the reality of it was that, that that game was very long and I wasn't really, I didn't even know what to, how to play that game at the time. So then, after like a year or two, I actually got into Final Fantasy VIII. My friend actually uh, borrowed me Final Fantasy VIII and I had memory card then and so I got into Final Fantasy uh, games then and then after that I played uh, Final Fantasy VII a lot as well, but for the most part like, yeah, I, I must have played Final Fantasy VIII like three, four times at least, right? So, um, you know, that's that's my game. Um, I did enjoy Final Fantasy X as well, a lot. I, if I were to kind of put all these games, like uh, make a, like a chart, I would say Final Fantasy VIII and X are my, my what, well, one and two, I, I guess Final Fantasy VIII, then X, then seven. So, <laughs> look at all these small things and like, you know, back then, like these FM, FMV kind of like effects were kind of impressive. Uh, I mean, Resident Evil was kind of made pretty much the same in a similar way as well. It was like combination of 3D graphics and, um, and these uh, pre-rendered uh, scenes. Um, fight them. Yeah, let's fight them. So we've got the heat. I mean, it was very popular back then, like 3D pre-rendered 3D scenes and, and um, you know, some 3D models on top of that. That was actually a very popular kind of way of making games um, during PlayStation era. Um, so like Resident Evil was pretty much the same, that's why we had this kind of like a very specific way camera actually works so, you, so these games were not like a full 3d games right like doom or something like that um i guess some people would argue that doom was actually a proper 3d as well but that's another topic for another video i guess right but uh, yeah you can see what's going on here um, um this game is actually still pretty fun um, you know, uh, the story is pretty good like beginning doesn't make much sense but like later on, if, when you get into the actual story and you actually learn where did, the, where did Cloud come from and uh, what's his relation you know, to Sephiroth and etc. Et uh, the actual, you know, obviously it ha this game has a lot of these Japanese kind of, um, uh, how do I call it, add-ins, if you know what I mean, like, you know, uh, but th but that, that's that's the thing about Japanese games, right? Like they, they've got uh, this kind of sort sort of like weirdness to it. Sometimes, at least for us Westerners, I guess. Right? So, but like you know, generally speaking, the story is very very good. Uh, I did enjoy the music a lot as well. Oh, I'm being kicked. Why I get I have my ass kicked. Come on, come on. So that there's, um, you have to wait for each other. Yeah, so these are, uh, no, these are turn based, but you know, you still, you were still limited by time. So, uh, because like a proper turn based game, you, you, you can, ha you can have, you have like all the whole of the, you know, time in the world to actually make decisions in this game, you know, you've got like certain time and if you actually uh, past that time, the enemy will attack you anyway. So you know, generally speaking, the the faster you attack, the faster you make the decisions, the better. Um, I haven't really played that kind of game for a while now, so I guess like, I guess I will actually play this game again now. So there we go. Like these kind of like 
this scene is supposed to like Im imitate that kind of like a cutscene, but you know, like so we've got like a little bit of a uh, 3D render, very low quality right now, and uh, these 3D models, um, and <laughs> you know, it it looks very primitive uh, right now. But you know what? Like you know, just the fact alone that these um, these characters are high resolution, that, that kind of helps a little bit, I guess, because I remember that back on PlayStation, you know, these characters were just like a bunch of pixels, right? You know. So not only low quality, no, not only low poly, 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 which is like low number of polygons, but on top of that, like, you know, resolution wasn't high, so obviously, you, you, you know, there was just like a bunch of pixels running around the, the screen, so it got better anyway. So guys, I won't bore you with this game anymore, like, you know, the game is good, and it's on the games, like Xbox, it's not in Game Pass, nothing like that, at least not that I'm aware of. This game is pretty cheap, you can get it on Xbox um, store, uh, so, you know, it's it's classic, I guess, right, so, um, yeah, you know, give it a try, I actually enjoy it, and I sometimes I play it sometimes, um, so, yeah, guys, that's the video, thanks a lot for tuning in, thanks for support, really appreciate it, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, share this video with others, so you could help the channel uh, a bit, and I'll see you guys in the next one take care